TNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this Monday, the uh, 19th of August. We're looking at the Dow for the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Up 100 at 40,758. So it's made a new uh, recovery high. This is a new leg B. It's a blue B, meaning we've finally got an upgrade from a buy signal to a buy mode. Uh, this looks good. We've been long since uh, starting at the August 5th low. I like it. I think if it's in a buy mode, technically it should go to at least four higher peaks. Peak A, peak B, leg B we're in. Should still make a peak B with a lower high. And then... C and D. That's the anticipation. We'll see if that works and we'll see if it's even able to get to the 41,376 round number all time high on the 18th, exactly a month ago, 18th of July. Let's go to the S&P. S&P at this particular point is up nine at 55.63. It's actually been holding a little bit better all the way through the futures last night and into this morning. Not great, but it's certainly made a new recovery high. Also leg B, also in a buy mode. It's very good. And we're looking at the, uh, the support now at 55. I'd say 55.40. 55.40 should be near-term support, but 55.32 is probably the level to watch. Looking at the QQQ, NDX 100 trading vehicle that's trading down 50 cents at 474.37. Looks like it's going to try to make a peak B today. Done very well so far. Looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000. Is that playing catch up? Yep, it's up 41 cents at 213.01. Uh, yes, a new uh, recovery high leg B. Let's go to gold. Gold had a fabulous move up on Friday. It broke out of that resistance level. Pulling back a little bit today, minus five. I've got this only as a leg B. In the daily chart, well, I could be wrong, but that's the way it looks. And it looks like it's going to go to higher recovery highs. That'll be a higher all-time highs, right? Looking at the uh, high-grade copper quickly, high-grade copper. It was up nicely. It's up 0.02. But I really want to look at crude oil because that keeps coming down. And even today, it's down 35 cents right at the 200 feet moving average. But the real thing that we've got to focus on are bonds. And bonds are up 9.30 seconds, uh, acting quite nicely, walking the nine period moving average. I'll be back for the Tiger Technicians Hour in a moment. Hope to see you there and check out both people daily newsletter.